to my channel. Today, as you can see, I'm in the kitchen because I'm going to be testing out the Shark Anti Hair Wrap Hoover. Now, I've got on with many, many hoovers. Um, the last one I had was a Vax one and it was rubbish. And because obviously we've got me with long hair, my daughter with long hair, the hair was getting wrapped up in the, um, you know, the roller constantly. So, from advice from my son, I've took the plunge and I've got this Anti Hair Wrap one. And I thought, because like, I've been going on YouTube trying to find um, testing and things like this, um, I thought I'd actually show you it from scratch. So, let's go. Some bits will be speeding up because obviously um, it's, it's going to take me ages to open this and get it out of the box. So this one, I'm just going to speed up for you. I forgot to say, actually, I got this from the actual Shark website and they were doing a free attachment for you cleaning your car on it. As you can see, that was really hard work getting that out because I've got a bug back as well. So yeah, it was a box in a box in a box. Right, and you get a booklet in it. My dog's getting a bit impatient, so if you hear my dog, just try to ignore it. I can't really do anything about it. That's packaged really well. I've got to be careful because if I don't like this, then I'm going to send it back. So I've got to be careful with all the packaging. Right. Brush roll. And if you see that's the anti hair wrap mechanism, it stops it getting all caught. It feels nice and fluffy. And it's got a lever that you can undo this with a jet roller so you can clean the roller. Just there. Put that up there. Right, next bit. I haven't got a car, so that free car cleaning kit, I suppose, I could give to my son. He hasn't got one because he's got the same thing. You know, if I don't like this, I'll send it back. God help if I could do it all. That's if you do hard to reach pieces. Look at that, Bailey. That's the tube. I'm going to put this tube for now. I do not know. Put it over there. I remember how this is all packaged. These are some little attachments that you can get. I don't know what that bit's for. My dog wants to go outside if you could um, try to look around there. It's a glit, but you can't because it's just had his flea treatment on and then washed. That's the nozzle one. That's a good one. So it's a nozzle attachment. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Where's the other one I just had? I'm cracking up. Oh, it's in there. And that's the other attachment. I don't know what the attachments are. It will obviously say in my booklet. Oh, yeah, it? Baby, you can go out. I'm trying to make a video of this. Um, it will tell you somewhere what each attachment is. Right. Oh, that's the upholstery tool. That is, I can find it. That's the upholstery tool. Am I trying that one out? Um, this is some other sort of tube. Oh, <laughs> I chucked it on my dog. Dog. But this tube, if you look, I think, if I look at the picture on the box, where it's a shark, hey, that goes that way in there, I think. Yeah, clips straight in. I'm hoping it's not gonna be too noisy as well, because my other hoover is quite noisy. There's so much packaging. There is so much packaging. This is the other part, like the main part of the Hoover. So it's packaging. 
package really well. And this is the extension cable, which I'm hoping this is going to be easy for me to handle because my back one is too heavy for me. With me having back and shoulder joint problems, I just couldn't get on with it. So, looks a bit posh, technical. We'll get this down and we'll put this down on the floor. So you can see. It. It's got a handle there, and this is that you hold with the tube if you're going upstairs, steps, and stuff like that. I'm going to try and get a better position for you there. And now, this I should really read the instructions, shouldn't I? Clips on just there, like that. Don't need the instructions, I'm too clever. Oh. And then we've got. There. Oh. if you're going to use it like that, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Right, that clips in there. And then this, as you can see, clips in the back bit and it says hose release. So, let it go. I don't know the way it goes. Because once again, I'm not reading the instructions. Just like that. And it looks posh. But my back's hurt, it's a good time to test it. So that's it, that's the Hoover. This is your extension lead. And I think we should have a go using it, shall we? My kitchen floor is full of hairs because I've just shaved and washed my dog. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to test it out. Um, you can see Bailey over there. <laughs> right so yeah perfect opportunity to test it out let's have a go with them and it's shark corded upright anti-hair wrap actively removes hair from the brush roll so you don't have to unlock for long and short pet hair one floor head two brush rolls so all types of floor self-cleaning and it's got a bit there you can take off so you can do up hard to reach places like up your stairs and then the bedding Let's go then. Right, first of all, we're going to test the wand out because I've got my hairs on the kitchen floor. So I think it's wand release is, oh gosh, I don't know. Let's lift it away. Oh, and then we'll put this on the end. How does it fit on the end? I don't know. I think it just slides on. Suction control, maximum, minimum. Oh, I'll show you that bit. It says on here, uh, suction control, maximum, minimum. I'm just going to put it on the middle. And then you've got carpet hard floor settings. So I'm going to be on the hard floor, which is at the bottom. Carpet hard floor. So we don't need that bit, I'm going to push, push this down on the floor so you can see exactly how it's working. Right, here he goes. Right, let's switch it on. That's a mid, mid, what is it? In the middle, suction, medium. I'm using this one because I've got hair on the bottom of it, but... What the heck? So that's the hard floor. Well, I had a lot of hair there. And this brush seems to have sucked them all up. There's only a couple left on the brush. So we'll hoover that up properly. Right, so I need to take this off and now we're going to try my front room. So, I think this now goes on to the... I've got to clip it back onto here. So I'll show you that. Oh, oh my God. So this 
now you can see all the hair in there look just from my kitchen floor wow so let's put it back on it's fairly easy it just clips on so easy and then we'll put this back in here this one that one yep like that And it's like that as always nicely out the way. Let's go and hoover my front room. I've got one more wire reach. We might plug it in somewhere else just to be a bit safer. I can't do it with one hand. How does Mrs. Hinch and everyone do these videos with one hand? Total fail, couldn't do it with one hand. Right, so now we're going to do the normal front room bit. I might end up disturbing my dog because he's in a chew. But hopefully will move out of the way. So I'm going to put you here so you can actually see me doing the whole lot. Right. Yeah. Oh, hopefully. Oh, hopefully. Oh, hopefully. Oh, hopefully. Oh, hopefully. Oh, phone call then with the it doesn't feel powerful but it is picking stuff up but there's some things it won't pick up and obviously i'm gonna have to get the tube roll out i'll show you certain bits like i've got stuff like bits of confetti from my daughter's birthday it hasn't picked them up i've got some still bits of back here it's not picked up shaken back and then a ball of hair which obviously is gonna have to be the tube then i've got more bits here and i'll show you with the phone on me I'm on maximum level now. I'll show you. Just not picking that bit up. I get the of the, you know, the drum bit from. So I've had to go over there. Two times. Still there. Still some confetti. So, perhaps because it's confetti, it's just harder to bring up, but let's see what happens with this tube. Now it is coming up with the tube. Wow, well, it's coming up with the other thing. Right, now I have actually got the stairs to do, but I think I'm going to empty the drum first. <clears throat> I don't know how the drum is emptied. Um... Dust cup release. Well, this says dust cup release, so does it mean... Oh yeah, you push them two things up. Just here, and that releases the dust cup. And I just think this is where it empties. I don't think that's too full. I think really I could still do the stairs. I mean, it's only... Yeah, let's try the stairs. Right, now the stairs isn't the main part for me because as you can see, I've got like backs and the stair part as well. So let's see how it goes. that is the hoovering done is it really powerful and great and worth the 200 pound i don't really think it is i'm quite disappointed i thought it was going to be really really powerful i know hoovers aren't as powerful as it used to be anymore because there's like a special guideline 
to do with the power of a hoof and it has to be a certain limit. Can't remember the limit in the minute, but if I do remember, I'll put it down on the screen. Um, but no, it doesn't seem like it's got tons of suction and really powerful. I wouldn't mind trying it out again when the actual drum bit is empty, the, com the compartment, the dust compartment. But um, I don't know, because I'm putting vax on the carpet, I don't feel like all the vax has come up. So I'm not really that impressed. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to give this out of 10. It's nice and light, it's lightweight, it's not heavy. And the bits come off really easy. Um, the compart dust compartment is big. Um, it's nice and easy to detach it and do hard to reach places. Um, obviously, you've got a minimum suction, a maximum suction. Why are you going to need minimum suction? Don't know who wrote, who wrote, you just need maximum. Um, I'll need to check the brush wall to see how that is for hairs. So I'll check that and then I'll give you the my out of 10 rating. So there is the brush roll. It's supposed to stop hair getting on. Is it? Because, I mean, I've still got hairs trapped. Well, not trapped, but I've still got hair wrapped around. I thought it was supposed to stop the hair getting wrapped around. Or is it supposed to just stop some hairs? But yeah, I've got hairs there. As you can see. I'm going to check my instructions and see why I actually, why I've got hair wrapped around. What it's supposed to be anti-hair wrap. Obviously the hair's got to go somewhere. So we'll see. Find where you roll up the, um, the cable, you know, the wire cable. On normal hoovers, there's a bit on the back and you wind them up around that. I can't find nothing on this one, unless I'm missing something. But I'm going to check the booklet and I'll see if I've got that wrong. Oh no, it has got a cord hook on the sides. Look, you've got that there, lower cord hook and upper cord hook. So you can wrap your cord around there when you're finished. I'm not sure if I said before also, there's like a carpet setting and a hard floor setting just there. When I hoovered up my carpet, I had it on the hard floor. So we're going to try it again on the proper way, which is the carpet. And I'll give my proper review there. And it's also on the maximum suction there, minimum suction there. So we're going to keep it on the max, then we'll see how it goes. And there's Bela. <laughs> right, now I'm putting the setting on here onto carpet. And then my son advised me to keep it closed to get more suction and then halfway like less suction and we'll see how it goes but i'm going to show you i've got some like shaken back stuff on my carpet so let's go see how well it picks up got the dog in the way now look straight up and it's not too heavy to push Great. I'll probably give you seven and eight, seven or eight out of ten. I'm not too sure yet on them things. Um, but it is better than my Vax one that I got from Argos. It is better than that. So that is my review for my anti hair wrap shark Hoover. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, or it gave you some useful information on whether you want to buy one yourself or not. Um. And I'll see you very soon for my next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and a like. And a click the bell at the bottom of the screen if you want to see more videos from me. And thank you and I'll see you soon. Bye.